Hi, in this episode I want to follow up with the Relic Weapon questline of Shadowbringers patch 5.35. To get a complete overview, open the playlist Relic Weapon Resistance in the video description. Before you have access to the next Resistance Weapon quest, you need to speak to the Resistance Commander. Select the option Offer Proof of your Metal. You have the Resistance Rank 2 and a new Resistance Weapon quest is now available. Speak with Mita at Jutia's Aegis in the Bossian Southern Front and accept the quest lost no longer. Quest rewards are three forgotten fragments of caution, preparation and skill. Unidentified forgotten fragments can be obtained from felling monsters in the wild as well as from skirmishes and critical engagements. They can also be traded or sold on the market board. Obtain a forgotten fragment. Fortunately, while doing the last quest, I got a forgotten fragment from a party member, so I didn't have to gather one myself. Deliver the forgotten fragment to Dmita and complete the quest. Henceforth, be sure to hand any fragments you find to one of the appraisers. You have unlocked the lost actions. Actions extracted from forgotten fragments are stored in the lost finds cache. The next quest is available when you have resistance rank 3. Therefore you need 1100 metal. Now I want to explain how you can use the lost finds cache. This cache is ordered by 7 sections. Offensive, Defensive, Restorative, Beneficial, Tactical, Detrimental and Item Related. You can save up to 10 sets of actions and items. The sets can be saved, renamed, overwritten and deleted. Keep an eye on the weight of your lost actions when you put them to your holster. The carrying capacity of your holster grows with the resistance rank. Speak with the resistance appraiser. Select appraise forgotten fragments and hand over all fragments that you gathered while defeating monsters in the wild doing skirmishes and critical engagements. I'm using a combination of gamepad, keyboard and mouse to store lost actions and items in your holster or put them back in the cache, click on it. Click on the save set icon. Click on the set you want to edit. If you click overwrite set, the set will be overwritten and saved with the current setting of the holster. You can now assign actions or items from your holster to two buttons. Open the main menu, select actions and traits from the character submenu. Select the category general. Here you can add the commands duty action 1 and 2 to your hotbar. Open your lost and finds holster. Click on the command you want to assign to the duty action 2. Click on the duty action 2 button in your lost finds holster window. You can see that the duty action 2 has changed in your hotbar. Click on the command you want to assign to the 2D Action 1. Click on the 2D Action 1 button in your Lost and Finds holster window. Now you can use them like normal commands from your hotbar. That was it for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.